business. Bobber, a barrier in our mosque? No way. The women already pray behind the men. Isn't that enough? Hockey boards? I got a deal from the old rink. From what I hear, nothing separates men from women like hockey night in Canada. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with this. Leave that alone! No. You stop that! Oh, come on! Two minutes for interference. Amar, he's the one who's interfering. The Grand Mosque in Mecca doesn't have a barrier. She's interfering. A barrier is essential. You're both interfering. I'm the Imam. I decide. Of course. Of course. Take it down! Absolutely not! Women distract men from their prayers! Oh, that is such a lame excuse! You see? Women are a distraction! I wasn't distracted! Bobber, admit it, because you're wrong! What do you mean you weren't distracted? All right, boys and girls. This is a contentious issue. Bobber, you can't just decide this on your own. Finally, an enlightened male voice running our mosque. And don't listen to this feminist. She is trying to distract you. Let me weigh both sides and get back to the congregation. Great. So help me take this down. Now, until I make my decision, the barrier stays. <sighs> Three seconds of male enlightenment. That's a new record. sweetheart, I tip for the looking, not the cooking. Would it kill you Muslim gals to show a little cleavage now and then? Would it kill you if I hit you with a cleaver? <laughs> Would you talk like that on your radio show? You bet your burka, darling. Controversy pays. Well, ladies, the men are at it again. Bobber is putting up a barrier in the mosque. That man seriously needs a sex life. The barrier gives women privacy, too. So put the men behind the barrier. Please, you're talking like a fanatic. Oh, well, finally, I fit in. This is not the place to discuss this. So I, uh, I was right, huh? Islam is a sexist religion. Mm. <laughs> Only when it's run by men. Well, so why don't you come on the show this afternoon and talk it up? Always happy to champion a good-looking underdog. Yeah. She can't. It is forbidden for women, for women to speak on the radio. It is? It's in the Quran. Oh, right. It is. Chapter 115. Verse 42, it's... Oh, there. Huh. Figures. Well, you know where to find me. Radio 660, The Freeze. Um... Oh. What? Ow! What are you thinking? Dad! I need to talk to you about something important. Real important or teenage important? Our school is having a... Uh, no dances. I got my degree without one cent to shake my boogie. <laughs> it's booty. And it's not a dance. It's a 10K run. They're raising money for the new hockey rink. Raising money for charity? That's very Islamic, right? I'll be with all my friends, who are all girls. Surrounded by boys. What will you be wearing to this social event? I'll wear something appropriate. Please, can I go? Please, please. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I know, I know. Yasser's office, now. Yasser, you are a contractor. We need your help installing a barrier. No vapor barrier? The whole of Get the... your head out of your business for two minutes and think like a Muslim. A barrier for the prayer hall. Guys, the men and women have been praying together in my basement for years. Now that you've got us a proper mosque, in a church, mind you, we need to set a proper example. Go talk to Omar. Mm, mm, mm. Leave me out of this. I can't imagine Amar wants a barrier, or the majority of the women, for that matter. Well, the majority of the men do want a barrier, and without our substantial financial contributions, the mosque will close. And so does your free office space. 
Look at that. I have a hole in my schedule right now. Allah be praised. <laughs> the Lord of all mankind. For centuries, man has... Oh, Friday. Try saying people instead of man in your sermon. Less controversial. So, you've seen the barrier. Come on. Make this easy on yourself. Keep the barrier. Obaba will stage a mutiny. It has no theological validity. Forget theology. It's a scientific fact that men get distracted with women around. But the women pray behind the men. Even when a woman is behind the man, he knows she's there. Hmm. Darling, Hi. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> Always such a pleasure to see the mayor. Hi. Sorry for distracting you. Uh, believe me, you're a welcome distraction. <laughs> Amar. I'd love to get your congregation support for the new hockey rink. It's a wonderful idea. Well, the mayor would like to speak after prayers on Friday. You're always welcome. Thanks. Friday? This Friday? Mm -hmm. Oh, the short notice might put us up against the wall. Do you follow Amar? <laughs> I don't want the mayor to be bored. Is there a problem, Yasser? No problem, ladies. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Trust me, Brandy, it's like war. You start off with shock and awe, and then you work your way up to a reasonable compromise. I know what I'm doing. So? Stuff for Allah, I can see your belly button. You look like a Protestant. Don't you mean prostitute? No, I meant Protestant. Have your bosoms grown? Now you look like a rapper. I'm totally covered. It is modestly modest, but you don't have to cover your hair, not until you start your menses. Dad, don't mm. gross me out. So, we're good? Too much attention on your bottom. They're the only ones I have. I'll buy you something, no, go change. 